this AK garage subscribe to my youtube channel and today I have here to do how to test temperature sensor this is a Chevy cruise temperature sensor how to test to see whether the temperature is good or bad this temperature I remove from this car engine and this is the one I have already so I'm going to test this one, this one and then this one and see if the range are the same but this is active is working but this have it down so I have to check and see if it is the same range or this and if it is bad or not so subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will teach you related to what to how to test a temperature sensor coolant temperature sensor right a reviews of multimeter this is my multimeter yes it's my multimeter and the clamp meter is my multimeter and I have my lips over here so let's go and measure it and see the bad and then the good ones between these two subscribe to it LK garage don't forget to like to share the LK garage yeah. so and now I have my close my multimeter and then the two plant in the senses as Chevy says okay so I'm about to check them one by one take the resistance the old source this one the, the plant temperature so this is what I have already so let's check the reading so this is the 20k ohms of my multimeter so here we go check the reading of this one Uh, it's one point one point fifty six, right? Okay, let's take it again. One point fifty seven. Let's take this one. Two is what I remove from the car up to two. Let's check this one to the figure that we get. One point forty seven. Okay. It's one point forty seven. So this one and this one is good to go. So what we need to go to know the reading of the range from thousand upwards and below thousand is bad. So this one is thousand upwards. If it gets below thousand, then it's bad. That is good to go. So this is okay garage. Subscribe to my YouTube channel.